are soulful progressive with FNN, Feminist News Network, that Feminist News, that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Ava Pui Room, giving you that soulful news you need, yes indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and get that soulful news, that soulful way, honey, you better let them know they can get online and get it today. I know that's right. So, what is it I want to talk to you about? What is really, really going on? The pandemic is running amok and testing isn't being done when it should, which has shown to curb down the existing cases of the pandemic and the CB19 in countries like Germany that's reopening and China, who is now reopening, locking up um media moguls and newspaper people due to the fact that they're afraid that the uh, protests will start again. But here in America, mm -hmm. what is going on? I mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, my friend. There needs to be more testing. And what there really needs to be is free testing. There is no free testing of this CB19 to be held anywhere. Unless you have insurance, unless you have the money, and the new test that they have out that the FDA has recently approved through Spectrum Solutions, Rutgers University, and Accurate Diagnostic Labs is not free. The newest, best test that they have for the coronavirus is not free. Are you listening to me? So I called accurate diagnostic labs, talk to them and ask them why you're not helping the underserved and the poor communities which is affected by this virus the most. Let's take a listen and then honey we're going to really discuss why this test isn't free. Hello, we're in a capitalist society but we're really going to talk. Mm -hmm. Let's listen. I wanted to ask you a quick question. Um, I know the FDA has approved Rutgers new saliva test. Um, I wanted to know how much, um, how much does this test cost and will it be offered for free? Okay. Um, we're located in New Jersey, of course. Yeah. Is um, that test in New Jersey free for everybody? No, it's, um, if you have no insurance, it's $100. So, um, are they making any tests or creating anything that'll be free to people? Not as, not as of right now, but your insurance company, if you have insurance. Okay, what if people don't have insurance? How can they assess this test if they don't have $100 or don't have insurance? Okay, right now, accessing this test is only for first responders and large health care systems. So we're not offering... So large health care systems, systems that are collecting money, not large health care systems that are state approved? Uh, like, like RWJ, possibly, but... We're not, we aren't rolling it out to, as of right now, maybe da down the line a little bit, but we're not offering it out right but now. So is it, isn't it like the poor communities where it's spreading the fastest? Um, it seems like y'all yeah. would sort of do that. Uh, this is based on, you know, decisions from management. Oh, <laughs> cha-ching. So, I, I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. All right. And, and what's your name again? I, I, I appreciate your time. Okay, I'm Paulette. Paulette, my name is uh, Sky. I'm with Feminist News Network. Thanks for giving me your time today. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I thanked her, but you heard her. The higher-ups made that decision. It wasn't the nurses or the doctors or the people that can't afford it. It's the money-hungry, grubbing, establishment oligarchs that are trying to do this, and they have taken over and disallowed positive health care for over 50 to 100 years in this nation, and it's still going on. They rather, and, and listen to me now, because this is the truth, 
they rather uh uh they rather cuz I'm getting emotional. I'm getting emotional. They rather sacrifice lives for profit. They probably already know the memo has already been done within the health industry. Well, we're going to lose so many, but we're making so much. And you know what? They're not bothered by this at all. And to say that it's the higher up decision is saying that it's the oligarch's decision. They're saying that it is the decision of those that rather see people die to make profit than to give it for free and see people live and to end the curve and to slow down this pandemic. Which has not stopped. Swine flu is still around. Ebola is still around. You think this mother is going away? Not until way more people get taken back. And I hope for all living things that that ain't me. Because it is ugly out there. And when you got people that don't care. And I'm showing you proof, people. I talked directly to the lab. You got a brand new test that can be tested with results within five freaking minutes. And no essential person is uh, compromised. But you cannot help them by giving the most people that are affected a free test. So we can make sure that we curve down this thing or it's going to go out of control like it's doing now. And with uh, Republicans buying into the beliefs of a uh, psychotic uh, dictator president and his crazy ways talking about he's Captain Ahab. Captain Ahab in that book was a psychotic, crazy man. Is he saying that he's crazy? I think he is. And we know we're talking about the POTUS here. This is wrong. And these tests need to be free. And I showed you why they're not. And if you agree with me that all tests should be free and given to everyone and more tests should be made and not stockpiled and held back so people can get paid leave your comments below and let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page and remember I'm that Sofa from Grass 1 on Twitter and got that red of the day on Blogger and Check out my Facebook because you'll really like it. And I also got Speaking Truth to Power on Facebook. Uh huh. But remember, I am that one woman team. That one woman team. Uh huh. So if you want to, I'm not doing the PayPal thing anymore, but contact me at the Feminist News Inn at gmail.com and I'll send you that P.O. Box. Yeah. Uh huh. And you can help out. Now, remember, I'm going back to the mainland. And it's going to be hell going through these airports with very little protection being given by them while they take $25 million in uh, bailout. Now, you can join me on YouTube or Facebook. But to enjoy me on YouTube, you got to help me get to a thousand so I can go live. Yeah. So help me out with that. And remember, in this era of hate, you got to participate because it's costing lives all over this place. Thanks for watching. Thank you for joining. Peace.